Hey everybody, what's up y'all? So we're continuing our thing today about website builder service and actually I received many messages to my tutorial video about Squarespace so I've decided to create this video episode. Uh, it's gonna be, um, I would say, reviewing video, um, uh, a lot of it tutorial video, you know, I'm not a professional at this period, but I have a huge desire just to tell you uh, and to share my personal knowledge and experience, of course. So check this video, it's only on and as usual, I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes and continue our work today. So talking about Squarespace, uh, I would say that uh, Squarespace has a dozen of thematic site templates with SEO optimization, good powerful analytics, it has a perfect mobile application for you and of course individual design. So actually, um, this is a website builder and a database of dozens of uh, thematic templates with SEO optimization options and uh, I'm sure you it has uh, powerful analytics and I will tell you a little bit later about it. So I would say the key features of Squarespace are custom domain, first of all, the second one, building mobile sites, you know, a wide range of templates. Uh, here you have a style editor, of course, CEO, analytics, free fonts, um, I would say image editor, and of course the manager. So actually right now we, uh, we will start our review and I would say we will start from my favorite part and my favorite part is templates in each uh, my video because I adore these templates and here talking about Squarespace we have many different categories of these templates so we, you can uh, actually see it from online store till the real estate and properties so basically we have many 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 sections and you know, uh, actually, uh, you will find the template uh, for you. For example, if you uh, would like to represent your product or yourself, so uh, we have many sections, and I guess that each section. So you will find, uh, yep, in these sections, in these examples, the template that will be better for you. So uh, here we have, for example, events, and let's start from the events uh, from this template. And the first one is uh, is the yellow one, and let's start just to look at the preview. Uh, as for me, I adore actually this part of um, my video episode because you know uh, each website has beautiful, gorgeous templates with that, with high quality design, you know, and the content every every is look really so it looks really tasty you know so that is my very part of this video episode so basically that is um, this template what I can say so here in Squarespace this thing that uh, which I like the most here we have the adaptive design for three categories actually we have for th we have three versions of the adaptive design first of all uh, for the uh, desktop the second one for the tablet one so uh, we can check and see that the borders, so they are actually shorter. Yeah, and for the mobile phone, for mobile devices, which uh, is very thin. And actually we can check the uh, demo uh, version of this. So basically that is how uh, it looks like. And I guess that we will start today with this design. Nothing special, nothing difficult today We uh, you don't see. You won't see, so actually, let's start. Um, people clicking uh, directly to this button, uh, start with this design. Actually, we will see um, the editor. Actually, this is the editor, but here is the main menu, I would say, on the left side. So basically, let's start from the pages. Pages are responsible for the layout. Yeah, we can check. Uh, here is the main navigation, speakers, channel, tickets, blog. But by the way, clicking via the directly to the plus sign button, we can add some, um, I would say, uh, some pages or some, or a blog, portfolio, links, whatever you want. So actually, this. Um, section many section is responsible for this talking about the design actually this word is uh, actually tells you about the design nothing <laughs> uh, nothing else so uh, here we can uh, add change delete but I would say change yep some fonts so basically uh, here uh, here it is 
so basically this size, yeah, the alignments, uh, the paragraphs, buttons, some headings. So actually you can do it directly right here. Um, the next one we've got colors, of course the color palette. So actually here we got like, um, it's not directly, I would say, um, yellow, but you know, um, it's called yellow, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, the second one is beige and the uh, last one is uh, dark green, I would say, whatever. But if you don't like this color palette, first of all, you can change and you can create your personal one. So that is how you can work it right here. So directly the bottoms. Oh, uh, we can do it right here. So they may be outlined. Yeah, they may be uh, rounded. Um, so actually, that is the size, the padding. Yeah, just, just uh, say directly all the settings. The image blocks, browser, load screen, even for uh, 404 page. You have access, custom CSS. So basically, you can uh, set up or change or delete whatever you want right here at this section. So the next one is about the commerce, I would say. And here is a really nice thing because, you know, if you have your personal shop, online shop, for example, or you sell your product, uh, sell your services. So basically everything is made for you right here. Directly you can check all the information about orders, customers, discount, points of sale, payments, checkout, taxes, accounting. So basically everything you got right here. But you know, uh, clicking directly to, um, to each... Um, so, okay, point of sale. Yep, and here we can add some methods you yeah, have what will be better android app uh, or android or for ios so basically whatever orders inventories but you know what i can say here uh, we uh, won't see and um, something special because this is a template you know so um my task for you just only to show you and to represent you what you will get if this web builder service and especially in this editor course case yep so we will go back to um to the other one uh section and let it be about the marketing so marketing is really powerful right here because we have what email campaigns and this is um a very interesting thing right here yep you can um uh, well you got you can select a plan you can uh, what basically you what have right here draft the channel send uh, automation so basically all the main campaigns which you can create right here directly but uh, here we have zeros in all the sections but no matter uh, no matter what we have right here because you know uh, this is not my website this is only a template but I assure you that you should try these email campaigns and um, actually uh, the section of marketing is multi-level, but you know in uh, right here in the marketing section uh, You can launch mail advertising campaigns automated mailings according to pre-prepared letter layouts and scripts So actually you can create as many letters as you like and of course there is a protection from subscribers pad statistics and mailing drafts and even useful articles uh, However, everything is in English, but that is uh, all for you uh, the next, what we got, uh, the next, the next, the next. So basically here we got the CEO, many integrations. So, uh, but uh, one more time, uh, <laughs> which I would like to tell you, for example, if you don't want to check what CEO checklist is uh, and you don't know how to uh, how to set up all the sections right here, yep. Some Google search keywords, whatever you can, uh, you uh, have the opportunity just to hire and see your expert if you would like to, yep. And of course, uh, the last, uh, what I would like to uh, tell you about the analytics, because you know, Squarespace analytics section is really powerful. Here we have traffic of visitors, geography of visitors, sales by product purchase, uh, actually traffic sources, uh, search keywords, everything, but uh, okay, uh, each section, you know, right here has zero, yeah, but no matter what was zero, right, right here we have, uh, because this is a template, yeah, but you know, Squarespace pace analytics section is really powerful, and uh, it includes statistics on sales, traffic, geography of visitors, product sales, abandoned cards, 
sales funnel of information about traffic sources and triggered search queries. So actually, the system also generates reports on the activity of visitors, the degree of um, I would say popularity and efficiency of the forms posted on the site, content, search queries, and everything else. So that affects the success of the projects, and that's why I assure you that you just need to try to create your personal website just to taste to see how it looks like for you and maybe you will create your personal website which will be brilliant so um the next we will start right now edit our <laughs> our template clicking directly to the bottom of edit we will edit our template people what actually we have right here we have many sections and basically you know um Squarespace is not like Wix editor or um, lead pages because Wix and lead pages they are um, drag and drop editors but here this is not a drag and drop editor so actually you can you don't have the opportunity to just to drag and drop some elements but you right here uh, you know Squarespace is much more straightforward and I would say that you should um, <laughs> you can edit each section clicking directly to um, this section so basically that you how you can uh, uh, work with this editor yep by the way between the sections we have uh, bottom up editing the section and actually just clicking directly to this bottom what we got right here we have many other sections and for example this is good for us because if I've uh, chosen the template that I like, but for example, there are three sections and for me it's not enough. So basically here what you have, you can add everything from this list. I mean headlines, galleries, yeah, so maybe it will be quotes or the test. So let us just to add a quote and let it be right here. So basically that is that section but you know for me it's just too big quote so basically it will be one only one sentence yeah uh so the next one what we got well here we have uh edit side header so clicking directly to this section we have the opportunity to just to set our, our personal settings but you know what does it mean what our personal setting i mean what we got right here from the list so we can change some uh options so basically we can work simultaneously with um desktop design tablet design and mobile device for mobile devices yeah so we can successfully upload the logo or just change um the name so just like it will be very simple yeah here and that what we have uh here we can upload the logo uh, let's go back to um, the element so basically we can uh, at the bottom so let it be right here you yeah, have so the social uh, links of uh, the size of these social icons yep so basically that is how you work directly with them each section so here are uh, the <laughs> the same if you would like for example to change um the content i mean the text yep yeah. Uh, so what we will do so we have a menu uh, of um of this text yeah it looks like in wordpress so basically that is how you can you have um, some options and you just need to select one of these variants of these options what um what will suit you yeah so basically or just uh here we got the main settings and right here we can add it sections from these sections where we got the size uh, L S M. <laughs> the next one is uh, alignment, of course, right here. Um, background, maybe just uh, with the image, or you can add, for example, a change the color, and that is how it will look like right here. Well, for me, uh, dark green is good. Yeah. So basically, that is that is it yep uh here all the same if you or for example okay let's imagine here i don't like the section and i can su successfully just delete it yep and just remove so what we got right here and the next one basically all the same uh all the same with the text all the same with the main settings of the sections but right here i would like to show you that here uh i have image and 
right here i i have of course the image editor and this is very interesting thing but what what interesting i mean it's look like uh, the editor for the instagram for example like we do the same for our social accounts yeah for our pages so basically that is it let's take all the settings and enough so um actually that is how you can work right here with um this um okay yep 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 okay and apply mm -hmm. so the next one for example the text is too big yep uh, and i will do it right here in this way or in this okay let it be paragraph and right here so <laughs> So it looks better this for me okay so all the same so i don't like okay what i'm doing okay right here the same so basically that is how you should work with this editor and i forgot to tell you that you know um squarespace has a perfect opportunity for you just you can successfully upload um, the app for your mobile devices because with the help of this app you can uh, continue your editing um, or you, basically you can continue your um, editing uh, your website with with the Squarespace and uh, with the help of this uh, app application. So basically, guys, this is the end of this, I would say, short reviewing video for you. Please write me what do you think about this press page. Do you like it or not? Maybe Wix is better for you or only pages. So you can think about it just a little and I'm waiting for your answer. And I guess that we'll see each other as usual in another video episode. I wish you good luck and thank you for your attention and bye.